Now, let's step into the greenhouse. Here we can walk around. We are in Sweet Home 3D, an open source piece of software, which means that you can download this file and walk around. So I'm going to take my guy forward here. Slows down a little bit, but you can certainly walk through it. Uh, let's see what all is in the greenhouse. These are growing beds. I'm getting a little bogged down here. We take our guy. Okay. Let's look into the far corner. That's looking up into the hanging towers. Let's look a little bit down, down more. So we're going to have a bunch of these towers. That's our growing beds, compost tea, our juicy lettuce. Uh, it's bogging down on me a little bit. But the hanging towers you see there, we've got the gutters, which these gutters here are going to house duckweed, spirulina, and strawberries. turn around here okay let's take our guy forward uh, we're looking at the ceiling right now so let's look down down more but you see all these panels these are the modular panels all these windows doors that's actually the house so no on the other side here these windows here doors ceiling panels here you see the the water troughs at the base the red is the hydro the aquaponic well that's the hydronic heating on a floor level going right into the pond so that the heat is retained in the greenhouse in the large amounts of thermal mass there's 20 cubic meters of water in here altogether so let's go into the next room This guy's looking up. Okay, let's go in here. You see, we got some chickens in there. Hey, uh, that's our spirulina bioreactor. That's actually going to be much taller vertically. Uh, let's go see these guys. We're in a chicken room. That's our chicken coop. Got some happy chickens uh, up above. We did have rabbits, but not anymore. And that's looking back into the greenhouse. Our puppy's going to be in there and our other growing beds, potato towers, worm towers, there's going to be, be black soldier fly rearing, there's mushrooms, so for the mushrooms uh, you can see some of the towers in the greenhouse. Uh, some of these towers are going to be mushroom towers, we did not draw them in yet, but you can download this file, the link is going to be shown, and play with the file. It also kind of feels like a game already, where you can be looking for things and examining the details of things in 3D. The good thing being that anyone can download this and use the file.
Kombiniert mit dem Gemüseanbau wird daraus die sogenannte Aquaponik. Und die funktioniert so. Die Fische hinterlassen Exkremente, die von Bakterien zu Nitraten umgewandelt werden. Für die Pflanzen sind das wertvolle Nährstoffe. Ein Pumpsystem bringt sie nach oben. Die Pflanzen nehmen Wasser und Nährstoffe über ihre Wurzeln auf. Das übrige gereinigte Wasser fließt wieder zurück in das Fischbecken. Ein fast geschlossener Kreislauf. Eine gute Idee. Well, I just got back from Haiti and we're so excited because we have all these enormous crops already growing. Last year we had a fall tour of peppers. We had over 50,000 peppers in this area of the farm. But we don't know now what's going to happen this fall as, as a result of this year's growing. Now, the amazing thing is last fall we were growing peppers this big. And now we've got them here. Well, this is June now. But we had them uh, this ripe here a few days ago, the last two days of, of, of May. So we're talking. Uh, we've already measured them. We got a measuring stick. This one's about nine inches long. So these are incredible for this area right here. And when did we plant these, Teresa? A month and a half ago. Here's some melons already coming. Right there. We've had, we wanted to share too, we've had ripe tomatoes for over two months. Berries that we have growing in uh, three plants that grow in a four by four area. We let them expand to the sides. Last year we had uh, almost 50 pints of these and we still have them in the freezer. But these are really nice, large size um, berries. Um, here's another experiment throughout this little micro garden. We've done different experiments where here we put a fish slurry down into this grow bed and uh, just in this kind of this corner and just to see what would happen. And so these uh, tomato plants here, and we have other tomato plants in the garden that uh, the same plants that are maybe two foot high, two and a half foot tall, where these are about five foot high. Big, big, right here's the level. And it's about up to as high as I am right here. And just loaded on every side with cherry tomatoes. We've already been picking them. And got some ripe ones down here. We use some of the same solution for the cilantro here and parsley, and that's all growing up very fast. Our grapes also, we put some of the mulch on our grapevines over there. They're growing out beautifully. These are, we got a couple areas here that grow these kind of super crops, and this is one of our compost tea makers that we have here, and we simply We'll take fish water and put it in here and we have a formula to make uh, a spray that's sprayed externally. But due to a super mulch that we've come up with this year, we have not even externally had to spray the crops yet. So all the crops that we're looking at is really coming from a super mulch that we made in the beginning of the year. So now we're going to do the external uh, sprays which will cause them to grow a lot faster. So we're really excited about the future of what's going to happen throughout this year.